Here's another example. y equals 3 fourths x minus 2. What value should I start with? That's right, I should start with the negative 2. That means this time I'm going to go down 2, put a big fat dot. Next I want to think about my slope in terms of rise over run, so I need to go up 3 and to the right 4 from the existing point. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to take my straight edge, connect my points, beautiful line. Alright, let's do this example. y equals 3x plus 2. Now, the first thing I want, of course, is my b value. And that's easy enough to find, but then I'm going to want rise over run. Notice that when it starts as just a 3, I don't have a run. So remember, I can take any whole number, such as this 3, and turn it into a fraction by putting a 1 underneath it. 3 over 1 will give me that idea of the rise over run. So my b value hasn't changed. My b value is still positive 2, so from the origin I'm going to go up 1, 2, put a big fat dot. From that point I need to rise 3 and run 1. 1, 2, 3, 1, there's my big fat dot. I need to use my straight edge and make a beautiful line for my equation, y equals 3x plus 2. Let's look at this example. y equals negative 4x plus 3. What value should we start with? That's right, I'm going to start with the positive 3. He's my b value. But next I need to find the rise over run. Have you thought about what we should do? Yeah. I need to turn that negative 4 into a fraction so I have this idea of rise over run. Only in this case it's a negative, so we're going to fall and then run to the right. So again, my b value hasn't changed. I need to start at positive 3, so I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, put a big fat dot. But according to my slope, I need to go down 4 and write 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, write 1. Take my straight edge, create a beautiful straight line, and I'm done.